All right, welcome back to part two of Link's Time Sweeper. So we already did this world, Times Square. Now on to Deja Vu Canals. This is actually probably my, I take that back, not probably. This is definitely uh, my favorite world in Blink's one. The music and the aesthetics are just really nice in my opinion. The only thing I don't like about this is probably the collectible side of it. Like these cat medals right here, I'm gonna have to go back and play stage three twice because of the uh, requir requirements for both th those last two cat medals I don't have there. And you can't even get all the cat medals in this world the first time going. You had to do it on New Game Plus. So what you had to do is you had to go to World. Uh, I think it's World Six. Yeah, I think it's World Six. Go to go to the shop in World Six, right? And buy the freeze vacuum. This can sweep water. It's good on fiery enemies. That it is. That it is. So you take this, and then you go back to World Two. Also, I'm having some problems with my disc. So I'll let you know if it's because of my copy being not up to snuff. Like I, I guess I haven't buffered out all the scratches on it because I'm using like a manual like disc buffer. So I had to crank it and crank it to get all the scratches out. I don't have a machine because that shit's expensive. That's like a hundred dollars. Of course, you could just go to a facility and pay for uh. A uh, machine that does the disc buff buffering for you, but yeah, it's kind of relaxing to do it yourself, you know. Also, I'm pretty sure the loading is because it's having trouble reading the disc. So just grab these two right here. You see the two balloon octo ballooners? Blow them up with the trash can. If you want the gold, it's right here. There's actually a shortcut you can do right here, so you don't have to use a time power. Whoops. Shot in the wrong direction. I didn't want that pause crystal or whatever. There we go. I forgot this guy was here, so just grab the trash right here. When you get the chance. And here's the first cat medal. God damn it. Yeah, I need to check this disc after and fix it up again. It's becoming unreliable again, but I'm sure I can fix it. See, you can get a shot in the back, but like a, they take two hits. So the more optimal option is to grab this bomb right here and then do that. Uh, the enemy's called a Karopper. And here's the second metal. <laughs> the camera's like wicking out right there. <laughs> Anyways, uh... Jump down here. Need a pause right here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try doing it without using a pause. Like, using one, one of my lives. So let's try. <laughs> Cause there's a trick to doing this with your invincibility frames. Yep, did it. There's more than one way to get past these this stuff, you know. That's why I always liked about blinks. And here's the uh, second cat medal. The last one's at the very, very end. But we need to jump back down and take care of the rest of the enemies. Also, this breaks. Come on, break. There we go. There's the princess. This guy takes two hits because he's a yellow uh, blobber, chrono blob. God, I love the music on this stage. It's just so chill. And then 
as with, with the uh, last one we got, this one also needs the freeze vac to sweep up the water. And then blow this open. And that's the last cat metal for this stage. Oh, frame rate drop. It's still a lot better than the fucking 360 version with no widescreen support. God damn, what the hell is wrong with this? Or maybe it might be my controller. It could be the game or it could be my controller because I, I messed around with this controller because the art, the right trigger was fucked up and it was driving me nuts. And that took a lot longer than it should to load that replay. No music. Okay, there it is. I forgot the exact layout of this one, like where all the puzzles are, but I'm sure I'll find them. The only reason I didn't do it on this like check before recording was because I was certain I'd uh, find it anyways. It's usually the only really difficult ones that I keep replaying just so I don't forget where the uh, placement is. And again, I have a fucked up disc right now, so this loading screen's bullshit. Don't don't worry. This isn't how the game runs on the original Xbox if you have a good copy. Okay. I didn't realize I was hitting pause helped it. Usually that fucks it up more. Yeah, I'll, I'll sit down and try and make sure I fix the scratches on it next time for recording, but I didn't get the recording out yesterday, which today is Wednesday. This will probably be out Thursday or Friday. See that bridge breaks. So just grab these time crystals. Actually, before you do that, jump down here. Sweep this up. Your vacuums, your uh, freeze vacuum should be strong enough. Okay, whatever. Okay. Damn it! There. That was annoying. Anyways, go back up this ladder. Up, 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 up. And reverse this. Grab another re reverse. My problem with using the reverse right here is you can't hit switches because they're just like go back up so it, it kind of sucks for speed running tactic purposes to use a reverse like that unless you're really good at like timing like spreading out the timing for it see see this isn't strong enough for this See, not enough power. Don't worry about that. There's another way to get up there. I'll show you. You see this? That ah. Actually, you know what? Let me show you the animations here. <laughs> Look at me just getting blasted away. Ugh. Anyways, no pulling around. He also runs along the edges. I'll probably get our reverse, so just grab two of those because you don't want to overwrite it. Wait for this bridge to reassemble itself. Oh shit, I fell. Oh. It's a good thing I got an arrow one over there. I don't remember the current being this violent. Or this strong. Uh oh, okay. Yeah, I'm having a lot of problems with this disc right now. Okay, so... Now that we finally got past that... Oh, yeah, actually, like, looks like a cat when he's jumping. Did you see that? On the frame it froze on? Let's see, grab that. See? 
so you, you actually don't need to get past that with the heavy vacuum. Yeah, I, I am definitely gonna mess up, try fixing this disc later. This is whack. Like, it, feel, it feels like the input is like a second late after I input it. And I'm not sure if that's my controller or if that's the game itself fucking up. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my god, this frame rate. Yeah, I'm, I might have to take a short break after this world because I'm struggling really hard right now. This is so bad, dude. I can't. Dude, this is like two bar Tekken online. That's how bad this is right now. And it's not like I'm playing this online. Oh my god, this is so whack. This is the worst experience. This is actually worse than the 360 version right now with how poorly the disc is running or being read. Whatever you want, however you want to say it. Yeah, I'm gonna take a quick break and then uh, it's just gonna be a cut for you guys, so don't worry about it. Uh, okay, jump. Kill this guy. Uh, this is complete. Dude, I can't. Dude, this is. Oh my god. Well, at least this is a unique take that I wasn't planning for. Fuck you. Ooh. Ah, damn it. God damn. I'm giving it a good second to catch up with itself. Ah! Okay, he's locked on. It's a good thing they make the lock on sound. Or else, fuck yeah, fuck this. If you fall off, you can actually like platform your way shortcut up here from the very beginning. Like, I'll, I'll, like you see those trash cans right there? Like, you can jump on those trash cans and then jump back on up here. So if you fall down, it's not that big of a deal, actually. And I, yeah, I'm fucked. I'm taking a break. And then coming back to this recording. It should not be running this poorly. That took way longer than it should. Okay. Well, let's save and then, uh, yeah, be right back. Okay, and we're back. I think I may have fixed it. Because it's loading a lot faster now. So we're going to move on to World 3. Hopefully it's not fucked. Spoke too soon. Okay, no. It's still looking a lot better than earlier. 
so I, I buffered it better this, this time around. But I mean, like the instructions on the uh, disc, on the manual disc buffer says, you may need to do this multiple times, so it's not that surprising that. Oh, I forgot to change outfits. I'll I'll do it next time. See, there's gold right there if you need it. I don't need it. See that that's just a shortcut there. So if you have like the heavy vac, then or sweeper, then that will cut down on time. Break through here. I don't think there's anything over there, so I'm not gonna bother. At least I don't remember. And again, this is the stage where I always forget where the other one is. Like at least one cat metal bit. I think I played it enough that I remember it now. It took me a little bit. It's mostly just because there's like four cat metals in this stage. Jump on this button. Dang, look how smooth this game is running now when <laughs> this actually works. See, might as well use it fast. Cuts down by seconds, so th this is probably the the most important speed running tool in the game. Damn it! No. Grab these rewinds. There's going to be a cat metal under the bridge right here, but let's take out this guy. Uh oh. This is still messing up a little bit, but. It might just be because the Tom Tom guy's there. Okay, you know what? That works. Go ahead. I didn't mean to hit the target, but it worked out, so I'm not even going to complain about that. Let's see, grab this. Jump down here for the cat metal. Swim down here for the third cat metal. Or second cat metal, I mean. If you want to cut down on time, reverse right here. Let's see, grab one of those time crystals from that and as you can see right here we can't enter this because this is too heavy and as far as I know there's no way around it you have to have the heavy vacuum for that one which is unfortunate because it means I have to replay the stage as I kept saying earlier but you can go down here and get the other one the third one I'm still having some problems with this disc, but a few more buffers and it should be good, more or less. I might go and buy that chip for the Xbox where you install it and it lets you play the, you know, illegitimate copies on, on it, so to speak. Just so I can make copies of the DVD disc and I don't have to worry about buying a new one. Because these games are, you know, these are old games. So they're not exactly easy to come by. Grab this for a hundred gold if you want. Uh oh. Did I break it? Okay, no. That's scary. And I'll, I'll cut ahead to uh, when I get the other cat metal. In the uh, same stage. But first, let's get this. I got prize 5. Let's see what it is.
Yeah, the coll the collections are all fucked up too, so... Mm, I still need that tinker with this disc. Fix it up a bit more. Oh god, the audio's gone. Yeah, where's the music in the sound effects? Well, the sound effects are still there, but where's the music? Anyways, here's the orange outfit. I'm gonna have... Alright, yeah, I'm gonna cut ahead to when I get the other disc. Or, I mean, the other cat metal, and then we'll do the boss fight and then call it. Okay, I'm back at it again. So I forgot to do something was... I forgot to grab this... See, sweeps up the heaviest junk, which is just what I need. Also, I didn't read the description of the orange one jacket. I think she says it's like cute or something. I don't know. I might go back and like purchase it just to see what the description was. Or we can just pause the video. Actually, you know what? You guys can just pause the video and read it. I was just like too distracted with how poorly the game was running on the disc. I guess I forgot. Anyway, I'll be cutting back ahead to when I get the fourth uh, cat metal in this level. So see you then. Wrong world. Okay, and we're back to that giant uh, weight. Sweep that up. You can use it to kill the cropper in one shot. So that's what I'm gonna do. And that's the final metal for this level. fell over. Yeah, the game keeps getting better each time I uh, buffer it. So I just need to keep disc buffering it and the performance should eventually get really good. Now we're onwards to the uh, final boss of this world. I mean there's only one boss each world but you know what I mean. It's gonna take a lot of editing on my part. Hopefully I get this disc problem sorted next uh, episode. I do have another copy, but I like using this copy more. Damn it. There we go. Oof. Almost got me. Pause it. And again. Yeah, just use the time powers, don't... Yeah, especially if you want, like, good time. Like, if you're speedrunning this, I mean. You 
can also use like a speed on him. Boom. The reverse also works pretty well on him. See, and this is a general advice for any boss. Try to jump exactly where they uh, despawn at. So where you KO'd them at. Because if you do that, then you'll get most of the gold that they drop. The game's uh, reaction time is fucked again. Like, it's taking like an hour to respond to my controls, so... It's a good thing I ended that boss fight when I did. But yeah, that does it for this video. Thanks for watching part two. I should have part three out within a few days of this one.